On your way home, will you stop and get a washer to fix that faucet? It's been dripping for three days. I will not. Now, why don't you see Barnes, the landlord? He should tell such things. Well, I've asked him three times already, and it's only six cents. You do it. It isn't a six cents, sweetheart. It's the principal thing. What's the matter? Are you afraid of that guy? Who is this Barnes? Anyway, nothing but the landlord. You pay your rent, don't you? Don't let that guy bluff you. Tell him what you think of him. I wouldn't a minute. I... Oh... <clears throat> How you do, uh, Mr. Barnes? Uh, my, uh, my wife's complaining about the faucet. Now, wait a minute, Errol. I'm too busy to bother about such trivial things. I just want to inform you that starting the first of the month, which is tomorrow, your rent will be $10 more. Te well, I should say not. No? No. What are you going to do about it? Well, t we'll move out. Right. I expect the place to be vacated today. Today? This afternoon. Uh, uh, oh, dear. Well, now, listen, don't worry, don't worry, don't concern yourself. Don't worry, I'll go and get another apartment right away. Start packing. Let that guy bluff you. He can't bluff me, you know. Now, well, this is the living room. Very nice, very nice. Plenty of room for my books. My desk over there, this will be perfect for the sofa right here. Sit down, won't you? Thank you. Oh, pardon me, I got confused for the moment. You know, this apartment is ideally suited for you and Mrs. Errol. Yes, and I can save rent, too. And you can save more money, Mr. Errol. I can? Now, you look like a man who understands business deals. <clears throat> Do you think so? No doubt about it. Well, you see, ready cash is extremely important to me. So if you're willing to pay the first nine months' rent in advance, I'll give you the other three months' rent free. Three months' rent free? I can say... You will? It's a deal. Hey. Hey. Oh, I beg your pardon. I'm, uh, I'm awfully sorry. What do you want? How much do you charge to move some furniture a couple of blocks? Cheaply now. When? Now. Oh, can't you make it tomorrow? Look, I got to do it right now. How much do you charge? Well, you know, things have gone up lately, and my expenses are $5 an hour. Of course, that includes oil and gas. Mm. And a helper, too. Helper? Yeah. I'll be your helper. Well, in that case, it'll be $4 an hour. Four? Okay with me. Oh, boy. Whew. This is really a beautiful apartment, Leon. Oh, yeah, I thought you'd like it, sweetheart. We're going to be very comfortable here, you know that? Say, hey, your helper certainly earns his salary, doesn't he? Well, it was your idea. Oh, uh, here, here, let, let me help you. Oh, thanks. Uh, oh, wait, watch it. Uh, oh, oh, there we are. Good. Oh, gosh. Say, who are you? What do, what do you want? Oh, I just dropped in to tell you that this building has been condemned. Oh, I thought it was something important. Condemned? That's it. You got to get out tomorrow. Court order. Oh, no, no. You can't do that to me. You know, I paid a year's rent. Oh, you did? You bet your life. <laughs> oh. That's too bad, buddy. What do you mean, too bad? I have a receipt here to prove it. Oh, you have? You bet your sweet life. Take a look for yourself. Hey? Oh. Oh. Hey, don't, don't tear that up. Hey! Don't mean a thing. The court says everybody's got to get out. Well, what about this year's rent that I paid Thatcher? You paid Thatcher? Of course. Oh. See? Well, you'll have to sue with the rest of the saps. Sue? You bet your life I'll sue. Where is this guy, Thatcher? He skipped town. Oh, well, that's all right. Skipped town? A year's rent. Well, there goes your principal of the thing and the interest, too. Well, that's all of it. That's what you think. You put all of it back in the van. 
And you go find another apartment, right now. Oh. Well, it's very nice indeed. In fact, it's just the place I've been looking for. Well, splendid. Yeah. Now, of course, there's a little matter of the first and last month's rent in advance. Oh, yeah? Well, listen, I'll pay when I move in. Well, I can't hold it for you if someone else comes along and hands me a deposit. <laughs> How long do you say the place has been vacant? Oh, about a year. I'll gamble. I'll be right back. <laughs> All right, Mr. Elf, you'll gamble. <laughs> now, look for yourself, sweetheart. Isn't, isn't it beautiful? Look. The only thing good about this is that you didn't pay nine months in advance. Oh, now, don't argue about that, will you? Uh, we are. Our troubles are over, over now, you know. Oh, hello, Mr. Errol. Did you find an apartment? Did I find it? Well, don't you remember? Sure, I remember. You wanted to gamble. Yeah, I... Oh, you don't mean to say the apartment is rented. That's right. <laughs> Well, do you mean to say that you didn't put down any deposit? Well, here we go. Well, now, stop worrying. I'll find another apartment. No, you won't. We're going to my uncle's house, and we're going to stay there until I find an apartment. I'm handling this from now on. Oh, gracious me. The neck, the neck, I... the neck. Got it. Been going like this for hours. So is your tongue. When you took the wheel three hours ago, Leon Errol, you said you'd be there in 20 minutes. You knew all the shortcuts by heart. Oh, don't argue, please, will you? And don't be a backseat driver. You want to go to your uncle's house, don't you? Yes, today. Well, all right, it's Broadhurst Avenue. I tell you, it's Widehaven. It's Broadhurst Avenue. It's Widehaven. <sighs> it's Widehaven. Broadhurst, I tell you. Leon, I tell you, it's Widehaven. Oh, it's Broadhurst. Hush. If you were right, we'd have been there hours ago. Well, I gotta be right at least once. We're lost, and you know it. Lost, huh? Look at that street sign there. Broadhurst Avenue. Why, it's unbelievable. You're right. Of course I might. Stop the car. Hey. Hey, stop the car. Stop oh. it. Gosh, it's dark out here. Wait till I find out what the number of this house is. Let's see what this is all about. All right. Oh, good morning. <laughs> Playing house, huh? No, no, no. I'm just looking for a number. Well, I guess you're going to get a number. Hold him while I take a look around. Hold him while I take a look around. Hold him while I... Hey, come here. Hello, where's the bread? I didn't expect you. Hey, Clancy. Hello. Huh? He lifted the whole joint, furniture and all. <laughs> this little squirt couldn't do that. Oh, what do you mean? Feel that muscle there, see? Say, you got this all wrong. I was looking for my uncle-in-law's house. Kind of late for a social call, especially with a moving van. Oh, now, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Go and ask my wife. She's out there in the van. We'll ask her. Well, all right. Say, I'll have you transferred to the sticks. I am in the sticks. Well, you belong in the wood pile. <laughs> What's the matter? Cops. Say, hey, give me a chance to get my feet on the ground, will you? Say, listen, darling, will you tell these fellas who I am? This is my husband, Leon Arrow. Oh, that's a shame. Well, things are tough all over. And you have a lot of explaining to do on your own, lady. Stealing a house full of furniture ain't pickpocketing. Stealing a house? Clancy, get the car. All oh, right. Say, wait a minute. Tell them this is all a mistake. This is all a mistake. See? Yeah? Will you vouch for them? Sure, I'll vouch for them. Who'll vouch for you? I will. Oh, all right. See? Oh, a wisecracker. No. Well, you'll do all the vouching to the judge. Honestly, officer, we were just looking for my uncle's house on Whitehaven Avenue. Well, lady, 
Everybody knows there's no White Haven Avenue in this town. Oh, hair ribbons. You can't tell me that. I've been driving all through California for the last 16 years. Well, I don't know where you think you are, but I'm in Arizona. Uh, Arizona? Arizona? And you knew all the shortcuts. Oh, Arizona's impossible. We like it, buddy. And so will you, after six months. Huh? Hmm. If you hadn't talked back to that judge, he never would have fined us $25. Well, the fellow's got to stand on his principles, hasn't he? Principles? Yeah. We've been arrested. We haven't any home. We're gypsies. <sighs> Why, we aren't even in California. Wait a minute. What are, what are we stopping here for? I say, what are we stopping here for? Huh? Got any beetles? Huh? I said, have you got any beetles? No, have you? Oh, fresh guy, huh? No. Get out out of that wagon. I was trying to be Get up. down. Yes. You know, I can send you right back where you came from, so don't get funny. Send me back where I came from. That's ridiculous. Honestly, officer, we haven't any beetles. Don't you dare get us in any trouble with the police again. Again? Say, listen, that's a silly question to ask me. What would I be doing with beetles? I've met some of your friends. Oh, all yes, right. Yes, quit yes. your arguing. Yes, yes, quit your arguing. Now, you've had a run-in with the police. Well, I can explain uh, that. That's all right. That's all right. That puts a different angle on things. I don't think I'll be able to let you into California. Oh, but we, we live in California. Oh, you live in California? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. What's your address? I, sir. It's well. all right, officer. I'll vouch for them. Yeah? And who'll vouch for you? I will. Well, that's all... Huh? Huh? Everybody has the same answer. Hello. Now, you either have an address or you haven't. Well, that's fair enough. Well, I haven't. Hmm. Very unusual. Now, you may be all right, but you've got to have an address. Leon, you go inside and call Mr. Barnes and tell him we're moving back home. Want me to talk to that crook? No, sir. It's against my principles. Principles are no principles. You do it. I'm worn out. Oh, well, all right. I'll do it for you. Not that I want to do it, but uh, can I use your phone, Mr. Beatles? Why? I mean, uh, the phone... Uh, to... Oh, yes. <clears throat> yeah, that's the number. That's it. Yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll wait. Yeah. Speaking of Beatles, you ought to see this guy, Barnes. Okay. Hello. Yes. Hello. Is that Barnesy? Hello, Barnesy, old pal. Yeah, this is Errol. Errol? Yeah, you remember, apartment 3B? Listen, Errol, you got me out of a nice warm bed. Now, what do you want? Well, uh, you see, uh, we're on our way home. That's right, yes. And I'm having a little trouble with the beetle. Yeah, I mean, I'm having a little trouble at the border. And I'll needle the beetle. I'll beetle, I mean, I'll needle, uh, need a little identification. Border? Identification? Say, if you want to move back in here, it'll cost you $25 more a month. Oh, <laughs> That's all right, Barnsley, old pal. Okay, that's fine, yeah. Tell this man who I am. Yeah, yeah. How fair. Yeah, it's all right. Hello. Hello. Well, I guess it's all right. Yeah. Do you know what? Huh? You don't stand so well with Barnsley. <clears throat> Is that so? <clears throat> Is that so? <clears throat> Last, eh? Now you're pretty tired. Stay where you are. I'll take care of it. Hmm? Hey, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Uh, you can't go in there, buddy. Why not? The place burned out two hours ago. Burned out? Yeah. You mean to say there's been a fire? Sure. Some yap moved out of his apartment and left the gas burning. Well, that is a silly thing to do. Maybe. But it looks like a premeditated job to us. A guy do a thing like that ought to be put in jail. He will be. They got all his fingerprints and everything. Good. And you know what? Mm. He'll get about 20 years for this. Say, he ought to get life. Yeah, and they got a pretty good description of him, too. Mm -hmm. He's a little bit of a short fellow with weak legs, bald-headed. And they even know his name. Yeah? Leon Arrow. That name is familiar. Leon, Leon Arrow. <clears throat> 
I, uh, I just come here from Arizona. I'm on my way to Mexico. Pardon me just a minute. Oh. What's the trouble, Leon? Get out of here now. Come on. Are you crazy? Don't argue with me now. Get going. Get going. Leon, where are we going? We're going to Mexico by the way of El Paso. No, no, let's keep going, that's oh, all. Oh, let's stop right here. I don't want to. Hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. I didn't tell you to stop. What are you stopping here for? Because here's where you're getting out, and all of your furniture, too. Whitehaven, Broadhurst, Arizona, police, Beatles, get out! Four dollars an hour. Beatles! I don't know where we are, but it's awfully dark here. Well, don't worry, dear. I'll get to a phone. No, you won't. You'll stay right here until daylight, and we'll both get to a phone. Insurance. And no wife. 